There is another interesting example, slightly related to context. It is called uh, the reading file f in, in the slurp mode. So the the point is that in there are cases where you would like to look for some uh, content in a file that can uh, be spread out on separate several lines. So if you read it, the file line by line, or even if you read all the file but in an array, so each line is a, is a separate element then it would be hard to locate that uh, piece of information because every time when you look at one only one line you don't have the whole uh, all the information on that line so for that sometimes it's better to have all the content of the file within one single scalar variable including all the new lines that are in and the uh, slurp mode helps us reading in a file into a scalar variable again uh, remember if the file is too big doing this will just eat up all your memory and then that's not good so the way it works is that this is the code so you have open or die that's the standard thing nothing special here then the third line here would read in one single line from the file because this reads in scalar context up until the new first new line and why does that do why does it happen because in Perl there is something called the input record separator, which is this variable dollar slash. There, yeah, it's a, it has a strange name, but this is the name input record separator, and that variable contains by default new line. So, what actually this operator does in scalar context is read it, it is reading up until and including the first appearance of this variable of the content of this variable and then the next time we, you call this then it will start from the next character and read again until this this the content of this character can be found now what we do here is we set it to undef so it will never find it until or it will only find it at the end of the the file so this operation now will read the whole content of the of the file into this scalar variable because we set the dollar slash to undef the, but because the dollar slash is um, a global variable you need to make sure that once you are done it it returns back to the original value and the clean and nice way to do that is to localize your change into a very small area within a block so that's the reason we put a block around it, which is just an empty block. It's a, it's a block without a, a condition or anything. It's just a block for the sake of uh, um, reducing the scope of this change. And I said local here because we can't use my on this variable. So we use the local, which is a different uh, way of telling, OK, from here up until the end of the block, we make you can make changes. But at the end of the block, this variable will return to the original value that was before localizing it and before assigning to it values. So basically this code, this here, will open the file, read the whole content of the file and then resets the uh, input record separator to whatever it was before, which can be new line or maybe it's uh, maybe if this is a piece of code inside somewhere and maybe the outside code already changed this uh, to something totally different, I don't know. Uh, that's what it's called, the, the slurp mode, this whole code. And this will, just because it slurps in the whole file.